Hey guys, real quick, recently there's been a few exploits out on the internet for the WRT54G router. Um, we just wanted to go over them uh, briefly. Right, it's a common wireless router, and if you have it, what you want to do is make sure that you've updated your firmware. Uh, you can find more information on those exploits and the firmware in our show notes, hackfab.org. And I thought that as long as you know we're bringing this up, let's go over a few quick tips that you guys can use if you haven't already secured your wireless network. Uh, one of the things that you may want to do is set a DMZ, and that's a demilitarized zone. That's any incoming packets on any ports that it was uh, that your computers did not originate. You want to set that to an IP address on your LAN that does not exist. Uh, another thing they may want to do is set the uh, wireless encryption mode to at least WPA or yeah. WPA2. I mean, if you've seen any of the other IPTV Web shows... Is, you know, like three to five minutes, easily right. cracked, but yeah. we don't need to go into that. No, not at all. <laughs> I don't think you're ever going to ever gonna see a web cracking segment on Hack 5. <laughs> so, definitely uh, another thing that you can do is set MAC address filtering. It's not required, but I mean, if, if you know how many computers that can be on your network and you're not planning on having buddies over or anything, it's not foolproof, but it will definitely it's slow down an attack. It's, it's good. Def okay. Of course, uh, turn on the firewall uh, and enable HTTPS for your web admin console. And what that's going to do is uh, all of your traffic, instead of HTTP slash slash 192.168.1.1, it'll be HTTPS. And that's SSL, so your communications will be secured. Yeah, this so I mean, if people earlier are packet sniffing, the, yeah. yeah. We don't have to go into that. Earlier, I mean, we showed how easy it is to pick up HTTP passwords. Right. So. Another thing you may want to do is disable the wireless admin access to the admin console. What that will do is um, it will only allow you to log into the administrative console over a wired port. That means there can't be some guy in a van sitting out front of your house on your wireless <laughs> network that can get into yeah, your that's yeah, very admin important. console. That's very important. Uh, another thing is to disable remote management. Now, if you're not using remote management, what that is is allowing you to get to the administrative console over the Internet. If you don't have a need for that, go ahead and disable it and disable universal plug-and-play. Unless you have an app that you know needs it, uh, chances are you don't. It's just going to spyware. If you contract any spyware, it's just going to open up all these ports and then your network will be... A lot more interesting. <laughs> oh, so, definitely, definitely. Oh, change passwords. Yes. Multiple passwords. Yes. And don't use the same <laughs> password on your Linksys router that you use on other things. Right, right. As because we found out earlier. Earlier when, when we were uh, downtown. Uh, At the up, coffee shop. <laughs> we, it was, I mean, it's so easy. Picked up somebody's HTTP password. I think it was his AIM password. Yeah, something. Scanned some ports and noticed he had uh, SSH open, an SSH server, and... Bam! It was. This, turns out it was the same password he was using for his. Yeah, his don't use the on. same password for your secure stuff. Yeah, as like your thirty-second shell on his computer. It's right. easy, piece of cake. So definitely multiple passwords and secure passwords too. Right. right. So we'll get into secure passwords probably later on. In future like episodes. Or hash or something yeah. like that. But we so. won't do web cracking. No, <laughs> we will okay. not do web cracking. <laughs> okay, I guess that sums it up. That's pretty good. Pretty much. Thanks, guys. See you later.